it comes to marauders, there are two things that come to mind. That is speed and efficiency. By speed, I mean the actual march speed of your troops, rather than the kill speed, because marauders are basically level 25 barbarians and they're not really a challenge. The real challenge is to find them and march towards them. And uh, to counter that, I'm using T4 troops because they're faster and they take less resources compared to T5. Also, I'm using 5 marches and 100k per march, as you can see. And also, I make sure to put in the triple line formations on all my peacekeepers. Now, while I'm here, I want you to pay attention to a talent that I would like to point out. And let's see, where's my Lohar? There he is. To this talent right here, it's called Trophy Hunter. And it gives you extra resources after killing barbarians. Marauders are classified as barbarians. And uh, it may seem like a small amount, but once you're killing like tens of thousands, spending tens of thousands of AP, it really adds up. So it's very good and you should keep that in mind. As for my lineup, I will this is the lineup I'm using. I'm practically immortal, and there are a couple reasons why. First, I like to use single target commanders. I don't want my commanders to chain other barbarians and because it wastes my time and it damages my troops, so I'd rather not do it. And the thing I want to point out is this march right here, Lohar with Cleopatra. It basically serves as my tank march and it works well because of the healing this march sustains and that is because Cleopatra does an AOE heal. It's not very high in range or I, sh I should rather say big but it is noticeable but the main thing is the Lohar with his fourth skill which he gains healing after each barbarian killed. So to show that in action We'll go right here so as you can see my marches are still very healthy remember these are 100k marches and the ba basic premise is like this you go near and I put my Lohar to hit first and we're gonna do it like this Lohar takes the hits and gets the first rage cycles so he gets to heal my other troops well, and that what keeps him healthy and by the end of the battle you will see he heals for a decent amount now walking back to the trophy hunter so this is the amount I used yesterday all, my, all the chests like this to showcase today and this is what I got so it's a, not a truly amount, especially for me, because I'm not, as you can see, quite of a farmer, but it is free resources that you will get along the way. And now, 100 chests, I've been hoarding them for this video, and for another reason that I will show later in the video, but it definitely took way longer than I remembered, and uh, let's open up to see what we get. Okay, that's good. Gems. A decent amount of gems, actually. That is great. That is great. Now, I will go back to the other video and right now we're in a calculator sheet where I took the time off screen to write down what I got from the chests since I've already done only 100 I don't need to write down the rest 
and I total it right here and the end results is shown in this table right here. Now to actually know if I've done below or above average, we're gonna go to this table right here where it actually shows you. So in the left side you have the baseline. So you type in whatever amount you, you expect to spend and it gives you an average. And this is where you write the actual spent action points and then you type in the data you got from this table and compare. So as you can see my speed ups are above average, credits not so much <laughs> and the gems are above average and so on and so forth. If you want to go the extra mile to showcase your results I suggest you go into Asbodian's Discord and showcase them in this channel marauder rewards it's something i will do myself after the video and it definitely helped me stay motivated to actually grind enough of these chests because for me i'm a seasoned player i do not have the will to actually really grind out them as much but it definitely helped going back to the actual calculator and its creator you can find this calculator in Asbodian's Discord as well and under this channel right here and it is this one so it's put together by Sola all the credit to him he made a great and easy to use sheet and it does not just include the Marauder calculator it includes pretty much anything game related and you can see here every type of information Apart from the crystal technology, everything else is pretty much up to date and it, it's worth your time to actually check it out and re remind yourself or know some or learn something new. So big shout out to Sola and big shout out to Asbodian's Discord. If you're not a member, then you're missing out on a lot of information about Rise of Kingdoms and you're missing out on a great community. With all that said, let's go back into game for the final recap and the big question, are the Marauders actually worth it? I've used 500k T4 calorie marches. I've used the calorie health skin. I've used the attack token. And pretty much that is it. Now to see our actual performance, in the pre KVK, as you will see, Kingdom 2755 is off to a very strong start. But this is the first day, and a lot can happen before the end of stage 3, so we're not getting carried away. And the big question is are the Marauders worth it? And I would say yes and no. Yes, if you are below 50 million power, which which means you're a growing player and Marauders are definitely a big boost to the player's resources, especially when it comes to speed ups and gems. But if you are above 50 million, you should still participate well enough in this stage, but not as much as the ones below 50 million simply because you have kvk barbs to have ap4 and you want to have a decent amount for that a good baseline for stage one is around 100 chests today it took me like five hours but if you spread that out across two days that's not too bad at all and you saw the rewards, you may get less, you may get more, but that is the general guideline. And that'll be it. This is my first Rise of Kingdoms video with live commentary. And it will definitely get better. <laughs> but thank you for watching my content. If you like the video, subscribe. Join our Discord, link will be in the description.
and I will see you in the next one.